Hello and welcome to Blue's Tech How To's, the series where we dive into your favorite streaming programs and services to break them down into bite-sized chunks that you can use to improve your own streams and content. And today we're back in Mix It Up app where we're going to look at custom commands and entrance commands. Both of these are user specific, but allow you to give each individual their own opportunity to have something special within your streams. So let's dive on into it and let's show you how to get these set up. Let's go. So once you open up Mix It Up app, again, this is gonna be where you start on that chat screen. So again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the important things are connected, your streaming service of choice, as well as make sure you're connected to OBS Studio, Streamlabs, Desktop, XSplit. Uh, we have a whole host of videos. Feel free to click on the playlist above uh, if you need to catch up or if you are just getting started. But from here, the, where you're gonna to wanna to go is the users list. So up in the upper left-hand corner is going to be the menu icon. You're gonna look for the one called users. When you click on this list, it's gonna load every user that has been through your stream. Now, if you're just getting started with Mix It Up, this may be empty. And the reason for that is it won't start tracking people until the app is open while you are live. So to use most of the features within Mix It Up app, you have to make sure that the app is open and running while you're streaming. If it's not open, it can't record any of the data. But after you stream for a couple times, you're gonna see a whole host of people um, in this list. You can see that we're, we can just scroll and scroll and scroll. because so we've been using Mix It Up for quite a while here. Um, but the nice thing about this users list is it gives you lots of information on all your users. So it will also pick up bots such as uh, stream elements, um, but it tells you the platform, the role in your channel. So whether they're moderator, follower, um, if they're just a Twitch affiliate, um, just a user, so that means they came through the chat, but they didn't follow. Um, but it also tell you watch time, currency, and rank. Um, so it, this does provide a whole host of information that you can use, um, analytics, if you will, to help grow your channel if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to just search for myself here. Um, so we're going to search for Beluga Man, and it's going to pull up Beluga Man 39. And when you click this edit button, it's going to pull up a pop-up window here. So this will give you more information on each individual user. So you can click on the, uh, the edit for any individual to pull up this window specifically. So it'll tell you how old their account is, how long they've been following for, uh, when they were last seen in your channel, as well as their watch time in hours and minutes. If you have any currency, rank, or inventory set up, um, they will show up here for that specific individual. And then we're going to come across the two that we are going to cover today. So let's jump on into it. We've got user only chat commands, as well as under options, we've got a custom entrance command. So now these two things are going to be specific to the specific user that you're under. Um, so user only chat commands are going to be commands that only a specific person can use. So this is going to be very similar to building out a command under the commands section of Mix It Up. However, by placing it here, it will make it so that only me, the streamer, can use this command. So if we type in the name of the command, we'll just say hello, and the trigger will be, whoops, I can't type, exclamation point, hello. And so again, remember, if you have the auto include exclamation point check, uh, checked here, then you don't need to include the exclamation point um, in your trigger. If you turn this off, you will have to include the exclamation point if you want the uh, the command to be run using the exclamation point. Otherwise, just hello will trigger this command. Now, what we can do is we can now add an action. So very similar to uh, before when we add actions to commands, but we're just going to put in a chat message and we're gonna hit the plus sign and we'll send it as the streamer. So it'll look like I'm gonna reply to myself, um, but we'll just be, hello, how are you? Again, with the uh, the mistype, how are you? And then when we hit save, you're going to see here, now that there is a user-only chat command under the user editor. So if we were to go to our chat, so we'll zoom out here, we'll close out of the user editor for now, and we'll come over to our chat. Under the chat message here, if we just type in hello, you can see up there, it just automatically responded to myself. 
So um, because I didn't add the exclamation, exclamation mark, just straight up hello worked. But if someone else were to say hello, it wouldn't respond to them with that command. If we go back into the users list and we open up our user editor, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the custom entrance command. So when you set up this custom entrance command, what it's going to do is create an action that will play when this specific user sends their first message in the stream. So they will still get the automatic uh, welcome message if you have those set up, um, but on their first words of the stream, they'll get their own custom command as well. Um, so this can be, again, any combination of actions that include sounds, um, GIFs, videos, text in the chat, text on the screen, whatever it may be. Um, but this custom entrance command is over and above the welcome command um, that you may have set up previously from the events tab. So again, this one plays on their first words of the stream, um, their own kind of custom entrance command over and above the welcome that they'll get when they connect to the chat. So to get this set up, what you're going to want to do is just hit add a command and choose the actions from down below here. Um, so again, you can choose anything from a chat message to adding something to the overlay. Uh, if you really wanted to get crazy with it, you could post something on Twitter, for example. Um, but you can just set it up as a chat message, hit the plus button. Um, you can send it as a streamer if you'd like, uh, and then you can uh, welcome them to the stream. So you can use dollar sign username. Um, thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoy your stay. However, we can almost make it a little more personable as well. Um, because this is specific to this user and we're creating one for ourselves, um, we kind of have the beluga whale uh, theme going on. So you, instead of saying thank you for stopping by, you can go thank you for swimming on in. For swimming on in. Hope you enjoy your stay. So now it's a little more personable, um, but you can kind of see here what you can start to do um, for different users in your chat to give them that little bit more personalization that they can they can receive upon entering and saying their first words of a stream. Um, so I'm going to show you right here a couple different options um, and examples for what we have for people on our streams. So by setting these two up, you can now reward users, um, people who stop by your stream more frequently with their own commands, as well as sounds, gifts, whatever it may be, um, but also reward them. Say uh, you set up a channel point redemption where when they redeem X amount of channel points, you can set up a custom entrance command or give them their own custom command. So play around with it, make it your own. Um, but this can be super useful um, for really adding a personal touch to your streams. Saying thank you to those viewers who spend a lot of time hanging out with you uh, and help support you because you aren't anything without your community. So thank you to everybody who hangs out in my streams, who hangs out with us in the community, the Arctic. And thank you to everyone who watches these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you have any questions or comments, let them let me know down below. Uh, I appreciate all the feedback you guys have given me so far. Again, we stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays over on Twitch, and we release videos Mondays and Fridays here on the YouTube. Thank you guys so much. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you soon.